Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pipe. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're in HitFilm Express. It's the free video editing tool. And then we're continuing our series where I show you how to be the best video editor you know for free using free software. Yeah, it's awesome. Guys, here we go. You'll see here that on the right side I've got this lady. I've loaded up some footage. And this is basically what I call the Sin City effect. They would call it you know, selective color is, is what they technically call it, but this is what you do to get a Sin City type look to your footage. And this looks really cool, especially in the production value side of things, because you can see here on the left side where you've got all of the colors. And then on the right side here, we've got this lady just with only her cool blue hair colored and everything else has gone black and white. How do we do it? Very simple, let's start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff here in the timeline. So we're gonna start right from the beginning. So select and let's go remove. Okay, so we've got nothing in our timeline. The first step is you wanna get some footage. I've got some stock footage from Pexels and I'll put the link to it in the description below so you can download it if you wanna follow along. Drag and drop it onto video track one. And you can do this with any type of footage cause we're gonna select for a specific color. So we've got the footage on track one. The second step is you want to grab the same footage and now drag and drop it onto track two right on top of each other. So it's basically duplicated because we're going to be working on both of them. So the next step, if you're following along and you've got video track one, left click on video track one like this and go to effects and under effects, type in H-U-E. You're going to see two things here. You're going to see hue and RGB, RGB key. Pardon me. And you're also going to see hue, saturation and lightness. For the bottom layer, making sure you're selected on the bottom layer or video track one, click on hue, saturation, and lightness, drag and drop it onto video track one like that. When you do that, it will open up the controls. You go to effects and you're going to see hue, saturation, check mark beside the box, and you're also going to see the master. We're going to left click on the master chevron here or the downward triangle, so to speak, and we're going to drop the saturation to zero. This is going to show no effect on your video timeline so far. Nothing to worry about. Just make sure that it is selected and dropped down to zero. You can close it up if you want. We're going to go back to effects. And now we're going to get the hue and RGB key. So you'll just, if you've typed in hue, you'll see both of these on top of each other. So hue and RGB key. Left click on that, drag and drop it onto video track two. When you do that, presto, you're going to see that it has already done basically what I am looking for it to do but that's partly out of luck and partly because I had the, the it already set up from my previous video. So if you don't get the exact match and you probably won't, you wanna left click here first off and you wanna select a color, left click and hold down on that eyedropper and then just hover over top of where you think the color is you wanna select. So I selected the blue. Okay, good. Now it's gone back to regular and it's not what you want. What we wanna do now and this is very important, is left click on this little invert boss box, pardon me. When you do that, then we're in business. Now you can adjust the tolerance all the way to zero, which is not what you want, or you can go all the way up here, which is also not what you want. So you wanna like make it so that the background color is basically black and whitish, but the foreground or the color that you're trying to select for is, yeah, is there. So in this case, 20% tolerance, which was its default, is pretty good. You can adjust softness as well. You want to up and down a little bit. It doesn't really do too much in my opinion. And there you go guys. Now if I hit play over here, you got this lady, she's doing her thing and presto, this is Sin City effect and this works great and this is all using free techniques, free software, free everything guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon.